Hello everyone, today I'm in San Marcos. In this video, we're going to discuss the pros and cons of living in this San Diego suburb, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Richard Soto with VIP Realty. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button as we do weekly videos discussing what it's like to live, work, and play right here in the great state of California. In this video, we're going to be discussing the good and the bad, the pros and the cons of living in San Marcos, which is located 35 miles north of San Diego. There's a lot to cover in this video. And if you watched any of my previous videos, you know I like my dessert first, so we're going to start with the pros. However, don't worry, there's plenty of cons and we're going to make sure we cover those as well. So let's get right after it. San Marcos is known for its amazing master plan communities and arguably mostly well known for its lauded reputation in the educational world. Home to the Palomar College and Cal State University, San Marcos, as well as numerous highly rated public schools, this is an excellent place for students at all levels. Recently, San Marcos was ranked the ninth best place to raise a family, according to niche.com. So there is a lot to like in regards to living right here in San Marcos, starting with the very first pro, which is going to be affordable housing. We're in California. We understand that the real estate options are not the cheapest and most affordable. However, if you're going to reside in Southern California, this is going to be one of the more affordable places that you can reside. I didn't say cheap or inexpensive, but I did say more affordable. One of the first costs that most people look at when moving to a new city is housing. The San Marcos medium home price is $845,000. The price tag is relatively consistent with nearby cities in Southern California. Alternatively, those who are planning to rent an apartment, you can expect to spend upwards of $1,700 to $3,000 a month. While this pricing is also consistent with rent rates across Southern California, it is significantly higher than the national average. According to AreaVibes.com, the cost of living in San Marcos is 41% higher than the national average, and San Marcos housing is 102% higher than the national average. So looking at the stats, we're not in Texas, okay? And we're not in Oklahoma. If you reside in the great state of California, Obviously, the cost of living is going to be significantly higher than a lot of other states across our great country. However, when you look at other places like Del Mar, Carlsbad, La Jolla, downtown San Diego, and a lot of the other nearby areas, San Marcos is definitely going to be more affordable. Okay, guys, we're in Lake St. Marcos. We just wrapped up a quick lunch. It's an absolutely beautiful day in sunny California once again. And as we're discussing the pros and cons of living in this wonderful city, we ran into Stacy, who's doing an awesome open house on her listing. And she's going to tell us a little bit about the home for one and two, what it's like to live in this particular neighborhood and San Marcos as a whole. Stacy, tell us a little bit about your home. Sure. So this is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. It's about 1,800 square feet. Um, it's been completely remodeled. Uh, they've taken out walls, they've taken out windows, they've redone all the doors, sliding doors. Southern California living, your backyard becomes an extended living room. Um, so there's nice sliders, there's mill guard windows. They've put in new HVAC units, new electrical panel. I mean, the house is turnkey. It's absolutely beautiful. It's on a cul-de-sac, which people love cul-de-sacs. You're right on the golf course. People love that. Um, living in Lake San Marcos is like living in a resort community. A lot of people have golf carts. You go to and from the restaurants. There's uh, tennis courts, there's pickleball courts, there's pools. It is truly, there's canoes you can take out on the lake. You can paddleboard. I mean, awesome. it's a great place to live. The house is listed at a million four hundred ninety-five thousand. How long has it been on the market? We just listed it Friday. Guys, you better act quickly because as most of you already know, I'm looking for a home and I have my eye on this one. I'm gonna see if I can negotiate Stacy to drop it just a tad for me. However, as we already know, 
with new listings when they hit the market, you're probably gonna have to pay top dollar or we maybe negotiate a little bit. Stacy, what do you think? You know what, it's been on the market two days. Today's our first showing, so. Wow, I guess I'm gonna have to pull, I'm gonna have to put a full price offer to get it accepted, which is okay. Stacy's a great realtor, so I'm sure she's going to sell it fast and for top dollar with the least amount of hassle for her seller. Now, another question I had for Stacy is there HOAs in this neighborhood? So there is not HOAs in this neighborhood, which is great. Right. Um, but being on the golf course and with all of his, its amenities, you can do a Lake and Lodge membership. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so what other amenities are there? There's, there's a lot around here, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, there's pool, there's tennis courts, there's pickleball courts. There's the um, lake life, so there's paddle boards um, you can rent. There is little dinghies you can take out and rent, like sunset nice. out on the lake. Okay. And then you have the restaurants right there too. Perfect. Yes, it's it's very walkable, or I don't know about walkable, but as she stated earlier, you can grab a golf cart, which sounds great to me. I could see myself and my two young boys having a blast, cruising the neighborhood, and just probably getting on people's nerves because I drive reckless and take chances. And Stacy has recently, or just now, challenged me to a pickleball match. And you already know I don't like to lose, and I refuse to lose. So her and I are gonna meet up later this week, and I'm gonna have to whip her in the game. Guys, we're about to wrap it up. We got a lot more to cover right here in San Marcos, but Stacy's going to give us the address you're listing so you can check it out on our website, VIPRealtyCA.com. It is 1216 San Julian Place in Lake San Marcos, 92078. Awesome, guys. Make sure you check it out. Okay, moving on to the next pro in regards to living right here in San Marcos, and that is going to be neighborhoods. Whether you're looking for a luxury mansion or you're a first time home buyer, maybe you want a town home, maybe you want a condo, whatever it is that you're looking for, you can definitely find that right here in the city. Not to mention there's going to be numerous options in regards to new construction as well. So the real estate options right here in San Marcos are going to be limitless. In addition to that, there's definitely some of the best master plan communities in the area. Nestled in the northern part of San Marcos is one of the area's top neighborhoods, which is Twin Oaks Valley. When looking into San Marcos homes for sale, this is an excellent location to consider, boasting scenic views of the desert, sprawling homes, and a rural setting. Those who aspire peace and quiet will find it here. Another popular neighborhood is San Elijo Hills. This master plan community is situated in the southern portion of the city and features amenities such as Ants Descent Trail and Quest Haven Park. Homes are spacious, upscale, and ideal for families. Okay guys, moving on to the next pro, and that is going to be crime and safety, regardless of whatever state, city that you want to live in, or what country for that matter, you want to reside in a place that's going to be safe and secure, whether you have a family or if you're single, it doesn't matter. Anytime I've chosen a new city to live in or neighborhood, Safety has always been the number one priority. And here in San Marcos, you're going to feel very safe and secure. According to niche.com, San Marcos received a rating of a B minus, which isn't bad at all. Crime rates are 58% lower than California and 53% lower than the national average. Beyond that, both the violent crime rate and property crime rate are lower than the state and the national average. So if you're going to be traveling out of town for business or vacation, you don't necessarily need to have surveillance and cameras everywhere. Everything should be fine. However, crime is prevalent anywhere you live. So having security is always a good idea. And besides, I don't want to have to get home and put these things on somebody if they're trying to break into my home. So just something to think about. But overall, San Marcos is going to be a safe and secure city. As I stated earlier, there's plenty of new construction opportunities. We're here at San Alijo Hills. And as you can see, there are some slabs that have been poured. They're constructing homes right behind me. There are some that are finished. There are some townhomes being built on the other side of the development as well. Numerous options for new construction, which is kind of hard to find in California. So if you'd like some additional information, obviously just call the office. We can send you everything that's on the market, whether it's resale or new construction. 
Okay, guys, let's move on to the next pro, which is going to be things to do. And because Southern California has absolutely great weather pretty much year round, if you're an outdoor enthusiast like myself, you can hit the lake right behind me. I wouldn't recommend jumping in this lake. It is very brown and muddy looking. Just keep it at 100, guys. You know I always tell the truth. So, but you can still do some paddle boarding, some biking. I've just seen numerous people on the gondolas right behind me as well, enjoying a romantic evening with a bottle of cab, which sounds great to me. In addition to that, you're also going to have access to numerous hiking trails, biking trails, parks, and other recreation as well. You can also hang out at the marina where I'm currently at, whether you're looking for a kid-friendly activity or something for couples to do, the marina is a tranquil spot to get out on the water take a boat, kayak, or paddleboard out for a morning or afternoon of sightseeing. The marina offers boat rentals, dock leases, fishing gear, and a variety of other rentals to help you create lasting memories. You can also visit Discovery Lake. This is a great little park area with small lake and delightful trails around it. Also, you can hike from here to Double Peak Park, perfect for small kids, and the hike is short, and for walking dogs too. If you're in the golf, you can visit Twin Oaks Golf Course, surrounded by breathtaking views of the mountains. The scenery is just amazing, as the facilities. In all of San Marcos, this is one of the best attractions for golf players of all skill levels. I am not a golfer, guys. However, if you know how to golf, you need to invite your buddy Richard Sutter to come hang out. I've gone golfing with a couple of my friends several times, and for some reason, they refuse to invite me again. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I keep shaking the balls left and right and we're at the first hole for about 45 minutes. So I get it, but if golfing's your thing, you can definitely enjoy a day of golf right here in San Marcos. If you want a little vino, the Sunshine Mountain Vineyard must be on your bucket list. It's a 10 acre vineyard with a view of the Pacific Ocean. You have an opportunity to sample eight wines for only $15 and that is less than what you would pay for one wine at a restaurant. I just ordered myself a bottle right here at the marina. Otherwise, that sounds like a fantastic time. I haven't visited the winery just yet. However, it is on my list. And when I do go, I'll make sure to give you my honest feedback as I usually do. Okay, moving on to the next pro, and that is going to be the weather. However, some people do classify it as a con because it gets a little bit hotter here, but you're talking to someone who was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. Guys, now that is hot. The humidity in Texas is on a whole other level. So as far as I'm concerned, the weather right here in San Marcos is absolutely fabulous. So for me, it is without question a pro. The weather is fairly consistent here in San Marcos, always sunny and a little warmer than some of the coastal cities in San Diego County. During the summertime, the average high peaks at 81 degrees in August. In the wintertime, daily highs seldom dip below 60 degrees. The most cloud cover is experienced in February, while the wet season extends from November to early April. Because of this inland, it can get very hot in the summer with highs of 80s and 90s. However, I would take this weather over Texas heat any day. Okay, another pro, if you're a foodie like myself, you'll enjoy living right here in San Marcos because you're going to have numerous options in regards to dining. Whether you wanna sit on a patio right here by the lake, grab yourself some of the best Tex-Mex food or whatever it is that you're into, you can definitely have numerous dining options right here within the city. Restaurant Row used to be the place to go in San Marcos where you'd find local unique eateries. Now it's slowed down a bit and has chain restaurants. However, a new revitalization plan is in place to convert this street into residential towers and commercial retail. So it's very exciting news for the residents of San Marcos. Typically, you can find unique restaurants throughout the different neighborhoods in San Marcos. Okay, let's move on to the next pro and that is going to be a strong sense of community. Most of the people right here in the city are going to get along, which sounds shocking. Most places that I've resided at, the neighbors can't even stand each other. So when you can live in an area where people are inclusive, they're nice, they're kind, they're smiling, they're happy, and they enjoy good company, that's my type of city, my type of neighborhood, and that's exactly the feeling that you'll receive if you live right here in San Marcos. Mitch.com has surveyed the community and discovered a high level of acceptance. For example, 36% of those polled described their neighbors as friendly, 36% said that the residents were quiet, 
and 18% believe that the community is friendly oriented. In addition, residents think San Marcos is an excellent or very good place to live. There appears to be a pleasant mix of attitudes that exist in San Marcos. What people say about the city reflects a favorable opinion of where they live. Moving on to the next pro, and for me it's on the top of my list, next to crime and safety, and that is going to be the schools and education. The majority of San Diego County is going to have exceptional schools, and San Marcos is no exception. The schools right here in this area are going to be highly rated as well. One of the major draws bringing new residents are the schools. The schools have really improved over the last 15 years. Brand new schools have been added as well as remodeled schools like San Marcos High School. New infrastructure and new fields for athletics have contributed to the rise in school ratings and satisfaction. Okay, let's move on to the next pro and that's going to be diversity. As far as I'm concerned, I love living in a diverse area. The more diversity, the better. I like people from around the world, all kinds of colors, yellow, blue, green, it doesn't matter. I love diversity, especially when it comes to food. As we already know, I'm a big foodie, so I love diversity with my food as well. But you will find San Marcos very inclusive and very diverse as well. In San Marcos, you'll see just that, about 45% are white, 40% Hispanic, and others. Okay, let's move on to the cons. And let's start with the lack of shopping and dining. For me, the dining options are going to be very minimal, which is a major, major con. I enjoy going out to eat quite frequently, actually each and every day. So if there's not a lot of dining options, that's a huge issue for me because I don't know how to cook and I don't have the time. In addition to the lack of restaurants and dining options, there's a lack of shopping. You can see the very small shopping center behind me. If you wanna shop till you drop, you better get in your car and head towards San Diego because there's not going to be a lot of malls, Nike outlets, or anything like that. You're definitely going to have to travel for your dining and shopping needs. Restaurant Row used to be the place to go in San Marcos where you'd find local unique eateries. Now it has slowed down a bit and has chain restaurants. However, you will have access to several shopping plazas with your typical big box stores and grocery stores, but nothing worth traveling to in San Marcos for except maybe Antique Village, a 10,000 square foot venue with more than 60 booths with antique china, furniture glass, and pottery for sale. However, that just doesn't sound very exciting to me. I need some Nike attire. Okay, moving on to our first con in regards to living in San Marcos, and that is going to be the traffic. And let me tell you, there's going to be a lot of it. People are coming and going, whether they're going to work, to the beach, to downtown, the infrastructure <laughs> isn't sufficient for the amount of people that reside and visit San Marcos. So if you're in a hurry and you need to arrive at places quickly, make sure you give yourself ample time because you are going to get there very, very slowly. Because the city is tucked away inland, you will see more congestion. The accessibility to the main freeways is not ideal. You'll need to access the freeway by driving through many side streets. San Marcos is off the 78, which is one of the worst freeways in San Diego. It's not very large and tons of people are using it to get from inland to the coast. So when looking for a home, you'll need to pay close attention to the proximity to the 515 or 78 freeways. Another con is going to be the high population density. There are close to 100,000 people living in San Marcos. Not only that, San Marcos is home to Cal State, a college town which contributes to the high density level. While I previously mentioned new builds being a pro, it can also be looked at as a con. With new builds come more people looking to relocate, and if you're looking for some space or land, San Marcos may not be the place for you. Guys, I hope you learned a little bit more about San Marcos, the good and the bad, the pros and the cons. This is a great area. I love being right here in San Marcos. I love the views. I love the hills, the mountains. They are breathtaking. I enjoy seeing all the different real estate options. And of course, it's low crime, very safe, exceptional schools. There's a lot to like in regards to living right here in San Marcos. If you have any questions about this particular city or throughout the state of California, my team and I would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction. For now, I will see you on the next video.